the people. Friday. They need to know. I know what day it is. They don't know. They That's need to true. Know. That's true. It's, we always remind people. It's Friday. We're reviewing District Queens, the story of Racine Robinson. Oh, yes. Is it Baltimore? Is it somewhere else? We'll... We'll talk about it. Hot boy Shane, the cannibal gypsy Mike G. It's another final Friday. Yes. And if you thought Human Zoo was bad, this is a little better. Get sip, and then when you're done with the sip, just give me one. You want a sip? No, no, no. Finish. Because I should have started slower because I'm already buzzing. <laughs> Great. So when you finish that, you're going to just... Okay. Oh, oh, is that like the David touching Jesus poster picture? Oh, uh, like David... Uh, no, isn't that Adam and... God? Adam, that's yeah. who it is. Watch yeah. your mouth, bro. I still need to get that tattoo in the future. I've been wanting to get that. So, District Queens. We have our complaints about this East. one. Oh. Mainly, biggest complaint, they throw people at you uh-huh. without telling you who they are, expecting you to know who they are. Boop. Yeah, they, they do that a lot. Yeah. Um, it's going to happen often. A lot of characters, and they will throw out a bunch of names, and then like uh, half an hour into the movie, they'll bring this character into the fold. You won't know who they are. You'll mention your their name. You'll be like, oh, I guess that was that person, but wow, they just kind of like, Died already. Died and like there was no build up and that was just thrown in there. A lot of There's characters. tons of death in this movie. Yes. Like more than I expected. There's tons of mentions of the pandemic. Yes. More than I expected. Because I didn't know when this movie came out. Yeah. There's tons of... Uh, ugh. No. There's just nothing What were you going to say? Uh, yeah, no. You're not going to say what... You- we're all thinking it. Yeah, everybody's thinking it, and I'll I'll say it. Everybody that's watched this I'll movie say has is thinking. Powerful it. women. That's right. Fast cash <laughs> and big juice. District queens. There, this movie. I feel like a lot of these people aren't actors. Or probably actresses. not. Probably like, not. Roosevelt Jackson, the up and comer, some liken him to the Spike Lee's of the world. Yes, at least that's what his IMDb profile says. So is he going to start calling his movies uh, Roosevelt joints? J- joints. Is this a Roosevelt film? Yes. Um, I like where he's you, going with that. I, I, I actually like want to know I like this. It. I wonder if Spike Lee has like patented calling movies joints. It was like Michael has patented calling them vehicles. Yeah. Is a Roosevelt vehicle? Yes, this is. That actually did you just sounds like a real Michael people. right now. I did. I did said? call him Michael. Yeah, it was kind of cute. If I wasn't so it. drunk right now, I'd smack oh, you. Have you had it. like half of this can? I'm running on fucking E here, Shane. I'm like a car. I need to be filled. Someone fill this man up. Well, well we can fill you up with this uh, up? plot. Hmm? So this plot is thick. Basically, you, Racine bro. Robinson is the head of the crime syndicate of this city. And yes. she has two daughters, Cat and Candy. And they are her kind of like underlings. Yep. And they <laughs> all run the city, even though people like like her because she runs it well, but people also <laughs> don't like her because she does it with dirty money. It's all dirty money. So the big story is, and it's all over the news, Huge is story. <laughs> Racine Robinson's husband goes down. Yeah, he's dead. Man's cooked. He's toast. Is he dead or he's going to jail? Oh, I thought he died. There's a lot of death in this movie. I just assume he died. I, I thought he went to jail. Right, have we been to Baltimore together? We haven't. Maryland, at least. We ate breakfast there once. Oh, you're right. You weren't we, there. We were in Maryland. We weren't in Baltimore. Yeah, though. me and Brian were way closer. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in Baltimore. So he either goes to jail or dies. His name is yeah. Nico Long. Yes. And he's a big like kingpin of crime. Yes. And now Racine is kind of... The queen pin of crime. But she's seen as a... Uh, she's put on a pillar and a pedestal in this community yes, because she, she has done a lot of good work during the pandemic. Yes, it's literally hammered into your skull <laughs> that she has kept the city afloat <laughs> during the pandemic. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This guy. Can I get that hammer again, though? <laughs> hammer oh. into your skull. <laughs> what so exactly you didn't did know, she do during there the? There was a pandemic. Oh. She, uh, I think she did stocks, bonds, <laughs> dividends. Dividend. She raised money, some fundraising, probably with dirty cash. I was going to say a tricky tray. <laughs> a couple of tricky Yo. trays later. And uh, she was giving money to people that needed the support. Do you think she stood at like a red light during a like uh, rush hour and just 
asked for singles. No, why like she's a she? little league uh, team. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that you had a lemonade stand? <laughs> asked for a dollar handout, a little league pen. I saw one of those. It was a softball team recently. Yeah, I threw him a five. That's what I did. Wow. I didn't know you had it like I'm that. A, I'm a good you guy. You got that kind of money? I'm you must be really throwing out fives good. at softball teams? Uh, they're little kids. I'm a good guy. I respect I try that. I'm to be a good guy. You know what I respect? People who fundraise during the pandemic. And like, like, Racine. Hey, she, she, she built it up, so now she has her kids, and they also have their people, too. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of... Double crossings and triple so crossings. It's too much to keep up Did with. Did you think honestly. the Seagal movie was confusing? Yeah. Watch this one. I really because like they'll mention like <laughs> essentially people just get shot. I think can, <laughs> Candy so can, the very first scene, Candy like messages for somebody to get popped and that person gets popped. You don't know why people are getting popped. Like there's one girl, Jada, who's one of I uh, I feel like she's a part of Cat's crew. If I'm They're not looking for her the whole movie, and I thought she had died. But apparently she's upset. <laughs> she's upset because like somebody like set her sister up to yeah. die. So she was like mourning that in like strippers and shit. And they pop her because of her absence. It came out of nowhere. There's just certain things, like there's scenes where they're transitioning and it's just a girl. Being like lap danced. That's, yeah. what, that's what Roosevelt does. Yeah. It's a Roosevelt vehicle. <laughs> can I get a point? Of course you can. Thanks. That's sweet. But yeah, uh, I mean, I get the, the the plot is mainly that it's like Racine's rise to like the top and like her trying to keep everything under control. Mm. But her daughters seem to be like those trust fund kids that are just running amok, like pretty much. Yeah, no, that's true. They are. I think from the like, Candy seems like to be more of the spoiled one. I yes. mean, to mention like the other one, Cat, is like a stone cold killer. Yes, she just murders on command. Like she has a like little meeting about like in the in the restaurant where she's talking to all of her crew members, like telling them like Paris, you got to get this person in mm -hmm. line. That person's got to get in line. Mm -hmm. And that Paris. one, the one person, Coco, who had the face guard. Yes. She's like, you got to handle this. And she's like, I don't like your fucking tone, Coco. And then, like, two scenes later, Coco gets popped. That's what I'm saying. Like, they give you characters who get popped just to give you more disposable characters who get popped. popped? Did Paris ever get popped? No, I think Paris lived. Good. She was. Yeah, she lived. She's the one. She got some real classy dogs up top. Oh now, my God. there really? are police officers. I'm barking at me. There are police officers looking to put Racine yes. behind bars. But some of those police officers are crooked. We find out there's some crooked cops. Yeah. Yeah, there are. And they go through like the whole um, kind of fill the audience in on who, who does mm. what. Yes. Who's affiliated where. Well, there's a scene where they're supposed to go through a basic arrest. And they send these two special cops. I guess they're like the SWAT or whatever. And they just walk in and shoot them. And they're like, he <laughs> pointed a gun at me. And they're like, no. And they like throw a gun like at the body. SWAT with like Colin Farrell vehicle? Yes. Get at me, Colin Farrell. Mm. What was with the... He's got a mustache in the fucking movie, Shane. That's Why didn't you doing. just say he had a mustache? <laughs> Can I get a point? <laughs> I'm a point. And that's a chop. Ooh. So, 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 so. Then let's just talk about there's a couple of other things because there's Shit. a couple of <laughs> politicians that want to yeah. screw her over. Like, there's this one guy that's working with that lady with the blonde hair and that guy. They're like doing a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. That Those was a good scene, too. Those people, they're trying to cross racing and yep. take over the, the business, which is, I guess, the crime syndicate? Yes. I know she has a truck moving company because they like investigate it later on, right? Yeah, because they find out, and that's the big piece, is that the guy that died, I don't know if he was, uh, what his relevance was with the company, but I think they were bailed out Yes, by Racine's company, <laughs> Bailout 24 or whatever. Yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> or 24-hour bailout. <laughs> Great company name. You guys remember that podcast scene? Oh, yeah. A yeah. street easy. <laughs> easy street. Easy street. <laughs> that was cool. That was relatable. We get it. <laughs> it was, the guy was just like, did you commit those crimes? And she's like, no. Thanks for uh, listening <laughs> into this podcast. Thanks for your help during time. the pandemic. <laughs> this movie had pandemics. A lot of it. Guns. Tons of guns. 
But yeah, that was the bus. So yeah. that that guy, they I forgot his name, but he got bailed out by her company. They wanted to investigate him. I don't even remember how deep it was. So they send the two lady cops there. They find the guy. They actually shoot the guy. Yes. And they make it like he killed himself. So yeah. they're crooked. But the one wasn't crooked. She just went along with she it. She went along right? with it, the other one. The first and, one was and crooked. And that was the one who was like had a daughter, right? Who like also was friends with the other crooked people's daughter, right? Because yes. there's like the backpack stealing scene. The backpack stealing scene. Where they fended him off with a two by four. That mm. was wild. You remember now, all that? I gotta mention no. that because <laughs> wasn't the guy that stole the backpack um enlisted to do so yes. by the sergeant? Yes. And this guy Basically, he's like, I don't get caught. Whatever. He has the most difficult time taking this backpack from a 13-year-old. Mm -hmm. And uh, he does come back. He gets popped at yeah, some point. He does. Well, is, who is he one of the ones that gets popped at the basketball court? Yeah, I think so. I think he yeah. gets popped there. Because there's two guys that get popped at a basketball court. Oh, yeah. no, no. He's not one of those. He does get popped around that time. Okay. But, but the two guys, there are two guys get popped. It's some other, some guy that just feels he's disrespected by them. So, yeah, so those up. were just like two randos that got popped. Yeah. Who's the one who got popped at the car in front of his two friends and then got back in the back, the two friends left in the car and they just left the dead body in the parking lot? Oh, yeah. I don't know who those three guys were. <laughs> some guy disrespected Paris. So oh, this movie is that. just about you don't disrespect people. Or you get popped. Yeah, or if you give them a wrong look or you just, the wind passes a different way. Mike would have popped pop. us months ago. I just don't know how these people make I'll it. pop off right now. And then they have that like up and coming story of how like that young girl Ivy will be like one of them. Yeah. You remember that they discover her, she helps the girl with the backpack and then she's going to be an up and coming and it's, it's a hard oh, crime. she's uh, the little, the little Roosevelt twist at the end, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. pretty much yes. actually. Yes. Yep. That movie had a better twist than Human Zoo. I'll give it that. Well, it's not hustle loyalty, respect. It's family <laughs> loyalty, loyalty, respect. I kept quoting that. I'm like, John Cena would love this movie. Don't you guys feel like we're sort of waist deep in this? Yeah. Did, that, you, did you get it? I got it. Thank you. Waist deep. I think it's like a 06 vehicle. Yeah. Megan Good. Yeah. She's good. Good. Really she, good. Yeah, she was in she, Saw 5. She, yeah, I was about to say that. She was in, definitely in a Saw movie. I'm not talking about her acting. Jeez, why oh, she's a pretty good actress. Nice so, point. Like you're gonna try to point to the camera. Like no, I'm pointing to Megan. Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, biker boys. Oh, she's in that, right? Of course she is. Shane. Isn't Kid Rock also in that movie? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, is he uh, what's his name? Dog. Dog. He's dog. That movie fucking sucks. Don't do this. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's great. Oh yeah, you guys were all the ones who liked Biker Boys. It was right? definitely enjoyable. I didn't like it. I loved, loved it. it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather watch, Biker Boys or District Queens? Uh, Biker Boys. Biker Boys is fantastic. Yeah, but District I Queens it is something. Yeah, District Queens literally is just people getting popped, and and that's it. it yeah, it, it should have been called District Queens, the story of getting popped. Ladies getting popped. Right. There's supposed to be like some kind of political things going on in the background. No. I just don't. Is the white guy it. like a political guy that gets popped yeah. at the end? Yeah, he just gets shot. He's the guy that's trying to move in on Racine. I was think I was just thinking it was Carcetti from The Wire the oh whole my God. time. Carcetti. That girl with the blonde no. hair. The girl with the blonde yeah. hair double crosses her own people and go, ends up going with Racine. Yep. <laughs> Weren't they interviewing at the end and then they just shoot the girl in the back of the head during the interview or something like that? Like, what was that last scene? I don't know. Mm, tell I you think, the truth. Yeah. Right, they were interviewing her. It gets then they just shot her and then they shot him and then... The story does culminate, though, into, yeah. like, the two sisters, Candy... And Cat And Cat. Just really having disagreements, and they're yeah. going to be a part of this syndicate. They got to be aligned. But the, Candy wants to get out of the business. Yes, Kat, you're, you're a hustler for life. Yeah, you you got to stay so, in the business. Uh, Candy, family. It's all about family. It's all about loyalty Ex and respect. That's what it's about. Fuck. Candy's like uh, uh, Jesse Pinkman, and the cat Walter White. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, what he said. Yeah, it makes total no, sense. No, Kat's about the game. She's about the grind. Yeah. She about that life. It's dangerous in these streets. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do you, you know like, what I mean when I say that? <laughs> Do you like Candy's storyline with her boyfriend? How they just have a quick one-minute scene where they kiss on the couch and that was the cutaway? And they kill him. Doesn't Cat kill him? Cat kills he him. He gets popped, too? 
Yeah, she, everyone in this movie the, gets popped. She, she like tries to get back with the boyfriend, and then she pops. Cat pops him. Bro, yeah, when distraction. you upload this review right now, can you put in like little parentheses? Pop. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thanks. <laughs> you got it. Thanks. Bud. Can I get a point for that one? I, I That's a chop. Okay. And a um, chop. It, this does, though, culminate in Cat and Candy shooting and killing each other at the same time. Yeah, they don't show up. It blacks out. But that's yeah. that. That's, that's the, the, the that's the ending of the movie. And then the, right after that scene, uh, you get who's Ivy, right? And Racine's story continues. She yep. she owns this shit. Can't wait to the sequel. She owns Baltimore. Double crosses, triple crosses. So many characters. So many. We don't pops. know their names. So many night deposits. You yeah. get killed in this world. <laughs> Night deposit. deposit. So many people get killed in broad daylight. That's not how. At they, a basketball court. That's not how that in works. In a parking so lot. Seagal like would that. never. Seagal only kills at night. It's true. Um, Seagal's way stealthier too. Do you guys like the effects in this movie? Fuck yeah. Yeah, they me remind too. me of our movies. I like the splatter on yeah. the on the window sills and the passenger side windows and the acting. Great, top notch. Good, Roosevelt. It Sorry, had man. some to be desired. But like I said, I don't think all these people are trained. So it they were is hustlers. It is. They were. At the end of the day, it's family loyalty, respect Hustle for and Kramer. Flow, that was a movie. Mm-hmm. That, that was actually a solid movie. That was a hit. That was a solid movie. That was a good one. Who was in that? Terrence Howard? You know it. Tangled Four Cash. Brothers. Did this remind you of Four Brothers at all? Not at all. Could not in the slightest. Did you see that one, Brian? I love that movie. Actually. Four Hudlin? Brothers is a great movie. Yeah, Victor Sweet. I love oh, it. God damn it. I like oh the way God. you do business. I that love Victor. Awesome. First of all, how what a great. character. First of all, the cast is fucking great. It's phenomenal. Stacked. The mother's phenomenal. phenomenal but it's like you have Marky Mark, Tyrese Gibson, Andre 3000, and Garrett Hedlund as the four brothers. It's actually it's stacked. great. It is and great. Victor Swede as the bad guy. Yeah. who The guy that I think he's in like 12 years of slate, right? He becomes yes. like a really big actor. He yeah. gets into a lot of big movies. He's is so it good in for- sweet. I thought I th- always thought it was Victor Sweet. It is Victor it, Sweet. It is. Why am I saying Swede? I thought you said. I, I think you only said it once. Swede. I think Victor Sweet. Yeah, he's, I think. What happened to Garrett Hedlund? <laughs> yeah, Where is actually, that guy? that's a great question. He pops up in things here and there, but nothing like big. Big, right? Yeah. Well, I hear Hayden Christensen's making a comeback. That's exciting. Oh yeah, he was really good in that movie Awake. Was he ever bad? No. Hayden Christensen? Yeah. Well, you saw some of the Star Wars movies, right? I did. I did. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there, there's some stuff. I feel like the hate is so... It, it is, it is like, unwarranted. So because unwarranted. I'm going to throw this out here, right? He's a good looking guy. No. Well, yes, but that's not my point. There you go. Jumper. I fucking love that movie. I know movie. you love Jumper. I love that movie. Very underrated movie, you Jumper. Watch Little Italy with him and... Uh, forget the girl in it. How is it? How is that? How one? is it? Just it's tell us how the movie is. It's about like a competing pizza joints, and then they fall in love, even though they're like competing at the pizza joints. <laughs> Do they have one of those kisses where one guy has the crust in their mouth and the other one has the bottom? Emma of the Roberts pizza? is in it. That's who. Oh, oh nice. Brian's favorite. Ooh, she. Yeah, I mean, I was a big Emma Roberts fan yeah. back in the day. It's true. We all I knew were. that. Scream Four. Uh, the American Horror Story. Um, uh, Meet you the Millers. One? Nerve. I'm out of them. That's it. Let's review this movie. Did we talk about the twist at the end? Yeah. She's an undercover. Oh, that's right. The after credit scene, the the person's an undercover cop. Yeah, the backpack lady. Chick, yeah. Girl. Did we mention that? No. Wait, who? The one girl. At the end, she gets a call from the police and she's been undercover this whole time. They're like, "We need you to go deeper." I don't know if I even saw that. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, there's like a little, it's like a little bit after the credits, right? Yeah, it's a poster. So, yeah, post-credit. so some, some credits roll, and then it comes back up, and they're like, I don't know her name, so sorry. Uh, she's like, I need you to go deeper, deeper than you've ever gone before. And it's the backpack lady. She's yeah. been an undercover cop the whole time. The yeah. girl with the backpack? No, the other one. She helps. Oh. Yeah. That's what I said. I oh, you did say okay, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know Yeah. Okay, we're good. We've covered it all. We got it. Full circle. Ivy Roosevelt. Yes, yes that's vehicle. it. Okay. All right, let's review. Hit hit the fucking button. Don't yell at him. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say no. 
Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch it for sure. <laughs> you guys want a good time? Watch it. District Queens. You want to see Pops? This movie's just not for me. No. And mainly it's because I I need to I like a movie where I can name more than three characters. Too many characters, not enough context. Yeah. Literally the movie's all over the place. Yeah. It's a mess. It's if a we're mess. just being real. It's a mess. It's a narrative nightmare, let's just yeah. be honest. But you know it is what it is. I can see why you'd like it, Mike. <laughs> I like sure I said, did. This movie's got a lot of powerful women. It does. Fast cash and big juice. All of it. And you know what else has that? What's that, Shane? Route 666 oh, next week's movie. Can we're finally hammer? dipping into the Lou Diamond Phillips get train. Get the hammer one more time before we sign off. Lou Diamond Phillips LDT. Route 666. Right. That's right. You don't want to take Route 66. It'll become 666 real, real quick. Real fast. I hope you like smirking ghosts. You like smirking ghosts. I, of course I do, especially when I have Jack Me hammer. with you, smook, smooky, smooky bets. Smook, smook. Mookie Betts is long lost, brother. Can I get a point before we sign off? We'll see you next Friday. Friday. Point. Smokey Betts. Smokey Hot smoke. <laughs> <laughs>